guys, we are back from the Euro trip. If you want to see any of the vlogs, I will have those linked down below on my second channel. If you want to see any of the Dublin or Rome or Amsterdam adventures, it was so much fun. I am kind of obsessed. I want to go back to Rome immediately. I would like to go there, live there, stay there, die there. This is the first video I am filming back and in true me form, we're talking about oral sex. And we are also doing this video in collaboration with Beducated and I will have more on them later. I want to talk very quickly about my history with oral sex because I have not always been a fan of receiving it. I feel like when I was a little younger and I was a little bit more insecure about smell and the look and the taste of my vagina, I was very much like, no, 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 you don't have to go down on me. Please, please, please don't, don't. And now I'm like, live there, move in, stay forever. And that truly comes with like accepting your body and also having partners that are positive about your body. Because if you have your own negative self-talk and then your partner is adding to that, that is not a helpful, healthy situation. So you need a partner who's going to be building you up and not tearing you down. And if anybody is ever tearing you down, they are no longer your partner, they are a memory. So a lot of my change in perspective came from my own personal relationship with my body changing and feeling more comfortable and obviously like I said it helped having outside information like you look so sexy it's so pretty all that sort of shit we love positive talk about people's privates it's great it's very reinforcing in a positive way but because of that I now have my favorite techniques that if anybody is going down on me and it's not getting me there I can just be like do these two things and like I'm gonna get there immediately the first thing is gonna be use your hands please please use your hands try it out maybe your partner isn't a hand person but for me I am a hand person and if your partner is like something's missing I don't know what it is it might be a little bit of fingering also obviously the clit is coming into play when it comes to oral so we're gonna focus on that but there's a ton of different techniques as to how you can focus on that and Beducated covers that. So if you don't know what Beducated is, I've worked with them on probably 10 plus videos at this point. I should really go through and count so I can have an accurate number for next month's video because we're working together again, obviously. But Beducated is a website that houses sex and relationships and dating and confidence video tutorials taught by experts in their field. They have a hundred plus videos on all of these topics. So you can level up your love life in the comfort and safety of your own home. And I love that it's such a safe, inclusive space regardless of relationship status, sexuality, gender identity. It doesn't matter who you are. They just want you to feel the most comfortable in both yourself, in your relationship, and when it comes to getting intimate with another person. And they're specifically promoting one course this month where you can learn to level up your oral game. It goes over how to enjoy oral more, build sexual confidence, and to become more skilled as a giver. And you can sign up to get this totally free oral sex training video down below. So make sure to check it out. I love working with this company. It is literally like we have the same mission and that is to just take away stigma from things that are fun like sex and relationships and just make sure that you're comfortable that's literally the whole mission statement here and that is where you can learn really fun techniques like how to actually pleasure the clit and i'm talking different like tongue placements i'm talking different hand placements all of it so that is one of my favorite things fingers and then just like light focus on the clit and the second thing a wearable toy something that can be inserted in me and then you can just lick all around you could lick up to my eyeballs at this point it doesn't matter it's just like the stimulation that the toy is giving me and then the contact of another person it is so like sensual I don't know how to describe it it's just like it just works it works if you're having issues getting there from oral not that that's the goal the whole process is enjoyable but try to bring in toys because it is such a hot intimate experience to share with a partner I actually had this happen recently the last time I was receiving oral sex it was one of those little like wearable kind of egg shaped things that you put in and it vibrates and then they were going down on me for like 25 minutes and like I cannot tell you the amount of orgasms that I had. It was one of my top five sexual experiences for sure. Also, another fun tip that was also in the Beducated video that I have used several times. If you are going to be intimate with somebody and you're concerned about the way that you're going to taste or smell, make sure that you're either showering before or go and shower with your partner. Like I'll hop in there an extra minute or two or stay a minute or two later just so I can like actually do the whole like vagina wash thing with water because we're not putting soaps in there because it's gonna throw off our pH. Showering with your partner can give you that really intimate connecting experience 
and you just get a little bit more comfortable with each other because it's automatically kind of a like silly thing. You're like, I'm cold, like, get like move out of the way. I want the water. You know what I mean? Like you just loosen up around each other and it takes a barrier down. And when it all comes down to it, much like everything else with sex, much like the main thing that I talk about on this channel really, communication. And if your partner is one of those people who has a hard time communicating their feelings, you can be the one to kind of pull it out of them. How does this feel? Tell me what you want. Or another good tip from the Beducated video that I had never thought of before, hold hands while oral is happening. And when it feels really good, squeeze your partner's hand because then they know that that's what you're liking and to keep doing that. And I really do think that I do need to reiterate this, unfortunately, but when somebody's like losing their mind and like really going over the edge and like the hand is getting squeezed, the moans are coming out, let us not pull out a finishing move. Let us not change up anything about what we're doing because what we're doing right now is clearly working very well. And then also if we're talking techniques for blowjobs and I have several videos on blowjobs and I will link some of those below. My personal favorite thing that I've been doing recently is really focusing on the head and top bit of the shaft of the penis with my mouth. And then one hand is doing the rest of the shaft and this hand is like either like I spit on it or it's just wet from like the upper blow job. And then my other hand is cupping and squeezing the balls. You can also, when you're cupping and squeezing the balls, kind of roll your hand back into the taint area and just like use a knuckle to kind of massage that. People like that. But that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed and you want to see more, make sure that you subscribe and thumbs up. Also, make sure that you're checking out Beducated's free oral sex training video because it's good <laughs> and you should watch it and you should learn all of the tips that they have to offer. And again, if you want to see any of the vlogs, you can see those on my second channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.